Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nusha Rani. I am speaking from Maharaja's College of Pharmacy. Today I want to give a small demo on calibration of pH meter. So here in our uh, Maharaja's College of Pharmacy, we have uh, Elico LI120 pH meter. The model name is Elico and the model number is LI120 pH meter. This particular instrument is used to measure the pH of solutions. The instrument measures the pH with the help of this electrode which is sensitive to H plus ion concentration and by measuring the voltage of this electrode which is sensitive to H plus ion concentration we can measure the pH of this solution. And this particular measurement is done uh, by taking the measurements relative to a reference electrode which is also present inside this electrode. Let me tell you what is pH and why we have to measure pH of solutions and uh, how the pH meter works and how finally we calibrate the pH meter. pH usually uh, indicates the acidity or basicity of a solution and uh, it is uh, denoted as negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. And it can also be measured by taking the ratio of H plus ion concentration and to OH minus ion concentrations. So this measurement of pH plays a very important role in food and beverage industries and um, where uh, certain units like water control units, water purification units, air pollution control units and quality control of pharmaceuticals, then uh, analysis of sugars, uh, then analysis of cement, coal, fuels, etc. Especially the measurement of pH of solutions plays a very important role in food and beverage processing units because the products are being consumed by people and the body fluids of human beings must match with the pH of that of the products that the industries are manufacturing. Let me describe the instrument first. So this is a tabletop compact pH meter that is Elico Li120 pH meter. Uh, in the display you can see certain knobs on you can see a central uh, display unit displaying the digital units of pH measurements on the right hand side we have a push knob we can operate it in this way we can put the instrument in the pH mode or in the millivolt mode when we want to measure the pH we have to put it in the pH mode when we want to measure the potential we have to put it in the millivolt mode Right now we are calibrating the pH meter by measuring the pH so we put it in the pH mode. This multi millivolt mode or measurement of potential is done for potentiometry which I will be showing to you in the next video. On the left hand side we have another push knob. Here uh, it is showing the standby mode and the read mode. The instrument is always kept in the standby mode uh, before taking the actual measurements that is during changing of solutions or cleaning of the electrodes etc the instrument is kept in the standby mode when we are taking the actual measurement of a sample solution we put it in the read mode by just pushing the knob so right now we will be putting it in the standby mode so here you can see three knobs one is the cal knob which is usually used to adjust the pH of a solution when the electrode is dipped into a solution of known pH it is used to adjust a standard pH value when the electrode is dipped into a standard solution of known pH. The other node called as slope is usually used to calibrate the sensitivity of the electrode. Then the another knob called as uh, or showing degree centigrade that means we can adjust the temperature. We have a temperature control here. Usually we put it in the room temperature mode when we start the experiment. So these are the display units that I present here and very important part of this instrument is the electrode. This electrode is called as a pH combination electrode. This electrode is called as a pH combination electrode. It is called as a pH combination electrode because it is a combination of two electrodes that is one is the indicator electrode then the other one is the reference electrode. Here the indicator electrode is the glass membrane which you can see the glass bulb at the tip of the electrode. This glass membrane of this glass bulb acts as an indicator electrode and gives the pH reading or measures the pH of the solution into which it is dipped in. 
Inside the electrode, you can see another probe called as the reference electrode. Here, it is a silver-silver chloride electrode, uh, a thin probe inside. A reference electrode is one whose pH remains unaltered irrespective of the solution into which you dip. So here, the measurements are usually given by the indicator electrode relative to the reference electrode pH. So these two electrodes are used and the measurement is done relative to a reference electrode so that errors are minimized. When we are not using the instrument or in the rest position, usually the electrode is stored in dilute potassium chloride solutions. So let me start the calibration of pH meter. Here calibration of pH meter is usually done by using buffer solutions. That is pH 9 buffer, pH 4 buffer and pH 7. That is pH 7 is nothing but distilled water. These are called as buffer tablets. That is pH 9 buffer tablet and pH 4 buffer tablet. With these buffer tablets I am going to prepare the buffer solutions. So this is commercial 4 buffer and this is commercial 9 buffer which have to be dissolved in 100 ml of distilled water to get the respective solutions. And I am going to calibrate this pH meter by using the buffer solution 4, distilled water with pH 7 and pH 9 buffer solution. So the buffer solutions are ready for use. And we are going to calibrate the instrument by using these buffer solutions. So let me start the calibration procedure. For that, first we have to place the electrode in pH 4 buffer. Before placing it, let me wash the electrode first in distilled water. Wash the bulb of the electrode. Just wiping the glass membrane. Now I am placing it in pH four buffer. We have to see that the bulb of the electrode is completely immersed into the solution. The bulb of the electrode must be completely be immersed into the solution. And then you can see in the instrument which is in the pH mode and now I am pushing the knob to read mode. So you can see here it is showing 4.42 pH. So now what we have to do is with this cal knob we have to just adjust it exactly to 4. Yes. Now the instrument is adjusted uh, with standard buffer solution to pH 4. Now, I am taking away pH 4 buffer solution, washing the electrode bulb with the distilled water. Cleaning the membrane. and then placing pH 7 which is nothing but distilled water see it is showing 7.20 with cal knob I have adjusted it to 7 now 
removing the electrode from pH 7 as it is distilled water you need not wash it now again because you have removed it from distilled water just cleaning the membrane placing the electrode in pH 9 buffer You can see it is showing as 9.16. The buffer tablet pH range is also 9.18, so no need of further adjustment. It can be left in that way. So this is the first step of the calibration part. That is what I have done is with pH 9, the pH 4, and pH 7 solutions or buffers, I have adjusted a standard value in the instrument by using the cal knob and slope knob. Now, the second step is when we place these buffer solutions, the instrument must automatically show these values, these adjusted values. Then we say the instrument is calibrated. So now I am placing the electrode into pH 4 buffer solution. And putting it in the read mode. So the reading is shown as 3.98, very close to 4. I will be washing the electrode. So now I am placing the electrode in pH 9 buffer solution. So it is showing as 9.15. So, when we kept pH 4 buffer solution, it showed 3.98 very close to 4 and when we kept uh, pH 9 buffer solution, it has shown 9.15 which is exactly the pH of the buffer tablet that we have taken. Place it in pH 7 which is nothing but distilled water and put in the read mode so you can see the pH of uh, distilled water as 7.12 so this is the second step that is when we have placed the buffer solutions automatically the instrument has shown their pH values so Dear friends, this is how we calibrate the pH meter by using the buffer solutions and once it is calibrated, you can measure the pH of any sample solution. So we have completed the calibration of the pH meter, putting it in the standby mode. So here you can see another knob that is the millivolt knob or millivolt mode which can be used for potentiometry. So soon I will be back with another video by performing potentiometry by using this pH meter wherein we will use this millivolt knob that is we are going to measure the potential of the solution and do the potentiometric titration. So thank you for now. Take care.